Hi, welcome to BFS Wargaming. So here for another video, we're gonna do a Kill Team Elites video. Um, we are doing the mission Shifting Priorities, um, which is the one where basically objectives can disappear. Um, so we're doing, it's 200 points for this mission. Um, you can include a commander, um, and so I've, I'm gonna choose not to, but I'm, go, I'm gonna be using the Adeptus Custodes, and Andrew is using Chaos. Yeah. Which is, uh, Cribs and Slaughter, Cribs and Slaughter. Renegades, whatever. Yeah. Call. And what's your trait? Uh, it is, I get to re-roll charges. Lovely. Okay. So we'll go into the armies and explain what they do, and then we'll get on with the mission. Okay, so we have Adeptus Custodes. We have our leader, Alaris Custodian. Um, and then we have another Alaris Custodian Terminator. He is the combat specialist. Then the custodian guard next to him is gonna be the zealot specialist. And then the last one is gonna be a sniper specialist. So that makes up 200 points. You are allowed a commander, but I've decided not to go with one because, you know, they are an army in themselves. They can, you know, command armies. They're just amazing, the custodian guard. So we'll go on to have a look at the uh, Crimson Slaughter. Right, this is my Crimson Slaughter. Uh, the front right there is my commander, uh, Great Possessed. He has the melee specialism, which gives him plus one to attack. Uh, on the left of him is a Kormazaka champion, who's my leader. Behind him is a Chaos Space from Gunner with Plasma Gun, he's a sniper specialism. Beside him is a Terminator with a Combi Flamer and Chain Fist, he's a demolition specialist. Next to him is Possessed, who is a combat specialist. At the back there is a Kormazaka with a Chain Axe and Chain Sword, and a Chaos Space from with a Bolt Gun. So we um, have set out the board. This is the board we're playing on. Um, so we're going to do the um, the strategic advantage roll. So Sony's got seven, and Thousand Suns got no, not Thousand Suns. Crimson Sword got four. Because I'm so used to only playing Thousand Suns. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm going to choose this deployment here. That means you deploy first, so we'll come back after we've all set up and it's going to, to initiate. Okay, so we have deployed. The custodies are deployed down here. Crimson Slaughter are deployed here. His Terminator is off the board because he is set up in Deep Strike, as is my Terminator here. Ready to jump on, cause some havoc. Um, yeah, so we're gonna do the... Um, Initiative phase roll. See who's going to go first. So eight for studies and a nine for the Crimson Slaughter. So Crimson Slaughter will move first. Okay, so the possessed, great possessed, moved up. So did this guy with the sword and axe, and the possessed over here. Then the marine or the two marines at the back are ready to shoot. Um, is there anyone else on the table? Oh, there is. The leader is hiding. hiding around here. And then the custodies moved up just here. Um, just ready to move up, get some shots off um, in this turn. So we're going to go into the shooting. Um, and both Andrews models are going to shoot first because they have been readied. Yep. So who are you going to go with and what are you shooting at? Uh, I'm going to go with my sniper specialist, yep. his plasma gun, at that guy. At this poor dude over here. That poor dude there. Okay. It's minus two to hit because he's obscured and it's long range. Yeah. Uh, so I'm definitely not overcharging this. Okay. He's a sniper so he's re-rolling ones. Yeah. Um, and it's what, strength seven minus three? Yeah, something like that. Who, yeah. who knows anymore. One damage. <laughs> if it's a plasma gun. So threes I'm hit on fives then, re-rolling ones. Yes. <laughs> Kill team. Yeah, kill team. Oh. So two. Or the well, one that you, you would have died there, wouldn't you? If you'd over charged. Yeah, yeah. So, but they didn't. And then um, the other guy? Yeah, Bolter is going to do the same thing. Right, so he's in on a five, but yeah, not re-roll. Really no re-roll there. Oh, and he hits. We got five. Uh, I'm assuming it's the same as 40k for the strength, isn't it? Uh, so four against yes. five, so fives. Yeah. Yeah, wound. Here's a wound. Okay, so... Um, it's minus three, so I. It's a bolt gun. Oh, it's a bolt gun. It's yeah. not minus anything. I lied. So, two up save. 
And he rolls a four. Okay, um, is that all you're shooting done? Yeah. Okay, we'll be back in a second with... Oh, have you got any other guns at all? Uh, On the table. No, I don't. Everyone else has either just claws or... Weapons. Swords. <laughs> okay, so we'll come back with some custodian shooting. Okay, so the leader, the Terminator, he's going to fire into the great assist here. He's in rapid fire, so two hit. Uh, he's obscured, but he's in obviously in half range. So it's rapid fire, so it's going to be threes to hit. So we hit once, and then it will be fives or sixes to wound because he's toughness five, and that's a three, so he doesn't wound. Then we're going to do the next guy here into the berserker. He is out of half range. So it's one dice and it's be so be hitting on fours. He hits and then wounding on fours. Doesn't wound. And then the other guy who's my sniper specialist be hitting again on fours. Hits. And then um, he will be wounding on fours as well. And he doesn't wound. Very exciting shooting round there. Zero wounds done. Um, so we will be going into the initiative phase for turn two. Um, so see who gets the initiative. And with an eleven, the Adeptus uh, Custodes have the initiative. So we'll be back with their turn. Movement turn. Okay. So interesting movement phase. Um, I move. I kept these two still and readied them um, over here. Sorry, guy over here. Just move round a bit to get on the objective, um, and then this guy dropped in at the end of the movement phase, five inches away from the plasma guy. Um, and then Andrew moved the plasma guy, moved the bolt at the back up a little bit, moved the great resist here. He moved the berserker boy into the middle. I will say. In the, as I didn't mention it, but in the first turn, the objective two, which says six, but it's to two, honestly, um, got taken away. And then on the second, beginning of the second turn, it got put back uh, in the middle because there's this whole shifting priorities thing. So yeah, the Berserker moved up and then the Possessed advanced up. And then he made a 10 inch charge, he actually rolled a 12 to get the leader all the way from back there into here. So. Pretty, uh, and my Terminator pretty dropped in. Oh, yeah. And the Terminator over here has dropped in. Using a command point for teleport strike. Yeah, and I used one as well to, from Golden Light with the Terminator. Um, so, yeah, he dropped in. He, he's got his 8-inch flamer, which he's just in range of. Um, and making sure that I'm a little bit obscured because he's a demolition man. So, you get yeah. plus one to wound or reroll ones. It's it's something like decent anyway, yeah. Yeah. Ones. So, we're going to go into um, the shooting phase. So, I'm going to shoot these two because they're the only two ready on the board I'm going to go with the Terminator into the Possessed first of all he is obscured but he's in within half range so I'll be hitting on freeze both hit and I'll be wounding on fives and sixes no wounds Good. and then I'm going to do the same thing with the guard both hit fives and sixes to wound we did get a wound it is minus one and it is two damage nine four up So three, do you want to use a tactic or a tic-tac? Tic-tac? I can't remember the tic-tac, so... Uh, it's just a re-roll. It's a re-roll. Do you I'll want to re-roll dice? Do you want to re-roll? Yeah, I'll tic-tac my re-roll. And that's a save. So you're down to two tic-tacs yep. left. Okay, so um, that is the shooting, but then I would get first pick because it's the next round of shooting, so I'm going to shoot with him into Mr. Plasma. Can't do that. So no obscurity, um, hitting on twos, so that's two hits, and I am wounding on fours. It's one wound at minus one. Four up. And he saves. How wonderful. Yeah, wonderful isn't it? Um, and my other guy can't shoot because he's now in combat. So um, we're going to go into your shooting. It, Andrew's just trying to destroy yeah. my models with dice. Yeah, so the plasma sniper guy will shoot this guy. Yeah. Uh, rapid fire range. Um, hit on threes because he's not obscured. He's yeah. Not, he's Are in... you overcharging? Uh, no. No? I don't trust myself. Okay. Yeah, re-rolling ones for sniper. Uh, both hit. Two hits. Oh, I should have overcharged. 
We're gonna go on threes. One wound. Yeah, one wound. Um, minus three, isn't it? Yeah. So four up. So one. I'm gonna use a tactic. No, it goes through. So it's two damage. No, one damage. Yeah, it's only one per. No. So I think he's down to three wounds now. I'll check. Put that over. Um. And then your bolter guy? Yeah, bolter guy, he might as well shoot him. Just okay, so he is obscured, yeah? Yeah, he's in half range, though. Yeah. So, four to hit. Both hit. Yeah. Five to wound. Yeah. Nothing. No wounds, two fours. Four fours in a row. Okay, so, we're going to go... Is there more shooting, is there? I think that's all of it. We're going to go into combat, um, which will be back oh, in a second. second. Okay, we forgot the Terminator. With the flamer. Yeah. So we're going back. Um, so he is going to. What are you doing first? The, co the combi bolt or the flamer? Uh, well, first of all, we use the custom ammo uh, demolitions oh. tactic on him for one command point. So it's plus one to wound. Plus one to wound rolls for his range weapons. Yeah. Uh, and then you get plus one to wound because he's obscured because he's a demolitionist. Yeah. So it's plus two to wound. Um, so he's going to be wounding him on threes instead of fives. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to put my flamer into your terminator. Your terminator. I might put the combi bolt. In. No, I can't put it. Can you fire him? You might be able to because it's. Is he within two inches? Yeah. Oh, yeah I think I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll put the combing bolt to shot to death. The left one, yeah, and the flame so the right one. Yep, so. The might Terminator, be. Flamer, then Custodian Guard is yeah. going So this is the Flamer, so D6. D6, right away. Ooh, good. Oh my god, six. Five, six. Wind on threes. Wind on threes. It's five. five. Okay, so five, two ups. Oh. Combi ball? Yep, so hit on fives because he's shooting the combi side and he's obscured. Yep. Although I should get four shots. Oh, is it? Or just a bolter. I should have checked. Uh... It's a combi ball, isn't it? Yeah, is that four shots then? I don't know, no, 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 because no, it's this... two. I bet check. Yeah. Uh, no, it's just one. Okay. So rapid fire. Uh, so two hit. Both hits. Yep. Five and six. Yep, so finally win on fives for this, so I'll be winning on threes again. Yep. So one wound. One wound. Two up save. He saves. Oh. Custodian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're now gonna go straight in to the combat over here. Yep. So Berserker Champion, he's gonna use three chain axe attacks. Yep. Uh, I've got to remember he's got Death False Emperor, so on his six he gets an additional attack. Yeah, so, and he gets to fight twice. Yeah, so these are the chain axes. Hitting on, I assume it's still threes? A, yeah, there's a six there. Yep, yeah, oh yeah, so six. So. It, what is it? Oh, he's just a leader, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. So, nothing for that really. Yep, yeah, so two hits. Uh, wounding, uh, strength five. So, fours. Yeah. Oh, sorry, plus one strength from the, from the axe. So, what do you want threes? So, one wound. Uh, what, and what, what strength is the axe? Strength is plus one and his strength is five. So he's so six, six, yeah, yeah. So one wound, yeah? Yep. Uh, any AP? Uh, one AP. So three up save. <sighs> so one. Do I... How many wounds is it? one wound, but he's got to fight again. Yeah. I haven't done the chainsaw yet. Yeah. I'll reroll it. Let's save. Okay, then the chainsaw, hit on threes. Oh, hit. Just false emperor. It's two. Yep. Uh, this one is only strength five, so winning on fours. Doesn't no wounds. And then you got to do it again. Yep, sure, I guess. So axes, in on threes. Just the false emperor. Missed. Right. Uh, so winning on threes. One wound, AP minus one. Takes a wound that time. Yep. And chainsword. Misses. Okay. Um, and then we're going to fight back with the. Custody into that guy, so I get three attacks hitting on twos because there's no obscurity or anything. So three hits, and then we are wound, so it's plus one, so it's strength six, so three is the wound. So that's two wounds at minus three. Oh, minus three, so six ups. Oh, one goes through. Um, how many wounds you got? It's probably only got one. It's D3 damage though. So it's three. So I'm definitely gonna... So that's th I have to make three um, wound rolls and pick the highest. 
Yeah. Fruit, flesh roll, flesh wound roll. Yeah, whatever they're called. Yeah. You know what I mean. Uh, injury rolls. Injury rolls, that's the one. Yeah. where I was going. And then pick the highest. Oh, out of action, isn't it? Yeah. Six, five, six. In fact, all of them would have been out of action. <laughs> He's so out of action, it's not even funny. So that's your leader gone. You're going to lose a tic tac every time. Just move over there. Okay. Um, so that means that at the end of the round, you are holding two um, objectives. And I don't think. No. I don't think I'm getting any for this one. Because he's not within two, no. So that means we're contesting the other two objectives and you're holding two. So you get two points and I get zero. So it's now for 3 1. It's 3 1 to the Crimson Slaughter. See if the custodians can bring it back and start smashing some heads. Um, so we will s- do the initiative. Uh, initiative roll for turn three. Double one means Andrew has the initiative. So he will go first. So we've got a roll, uh, for, the got a roll for the objective. So four, that was... four is objective four. Yep. So we make that one disappear. <laughs> Which is that one oh, just back there? I don't want to make my trip disappear. <laughs> Leave it there for now. Okay, so we will come back uh, after the movement phase. Okay, so the movement phase. Andrew readied over here. This guy stayed on the point. He charged his possessed into my custody over there, who's only got two wounds left. He charged his greater possessed into this custody, and then my leader, Terminator, charged in as well. And then this Terminator lost a wound to Overwatch when he charged the Plasma guy. Hopefully that plasma guy is not going to be there anymore. No, he's definitely dead, yeah. Um, and he readied the Terminator over here, not that he's going to be able to shoot because now everyone's in combat. So we are going to go on to the... Combat. Shooting, which no one can shoot because everyone's in combat. Well, you can shoot, he can just shoot in the air, he fires in the air. <laughs> he's going to fire in the air. <laughs> just being chaos and just letting loose. Okay, so we'll go with obviously your charges first, which is the possessed and the great possessed. Yep. Um, so you need to choose. You need to choose one. You're going to go with first. Is that right? Or because you go first, you get all the charges. We'll come back in a second. Yeah. Okay, Andrew is going to go with his great possessed into uh, the guy he charged. Yeah, the custodian guard. Yeah. Uh, so he's got five attacks. He has plus one attack from his melee specialism. And he, I'm using the Locus of Power tactic, which right. gives him plus one strength. Which bumps up to strength six just to try and get Hashi Toughness five. Okay. So he hits on twos, um, and he'll be wounding on threes. Hits on twos, wounding on threes. Is that the ones in there? Wounding on threes? Yep. Oh. Two wounds, and what is it minus? Uh, minus two, I believe. Yeah, minus two. What's the damage? D3. Oh dear. We need to save these. We don't save either. Um, do I use a tactic? Is this the third round? Uh, I think so, yeah. I've said two more, so I've got five. Uh, yeah, I'm going to attempt to save him. So that saves. So it's one D3. Has he got, yeah, he's got enough wind, isn't he? Oh no. Is that, we'll kill him. No. Injury roll? It's just one injury roll? Yep. One, that's just flesh wound, isn't flesh it? Flesh wound, yep. Yeah. It's one injury roll because you took him down to zero wounds. Oh, okay, right, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so he is now injured. Um, we will go on to my guy. My guy. The Terminator over here that charged. Um, and he is going to do four attacks. Hitting on twos. All hit. And then we are wounding on. Um, so he is plus three strength. So he's strength seven. Toughness five. Toughness five, so threes. So that's only two. And that's minus two. So five up. Ugh. Do you want to use a tactic? Um. Yeah, I'll use my last command point. Hmm? You said it suddenly. So it's one, so it's D3 damage. Just one. for one. Um, and then we 
will be back. Okay, the possessed round here is gonna attack my custodian guard. Yeah, he's on two wounds. He's a combat specialist, so he gets plus one to his attacks. So he's got D3 attacks plus one. That's two. Yep. He hits on threes. They're both hit. Strength is five, so he's winning on fours. Yep. So one wound. Minus. AP minus two. Four up. Nope. That's just damage one. Okay, so he's down to one wound. Um, next up, we'll go with my Terminator here. Now, he's a combat specialist. The combat specialist gets plus one strength. Attacks. Plus one attack. Yeah. Plus one attack. That's it. Oh, it's the zealot that gets that. Okay, so we five attacks, um, hitting on twos. All hit. And then wounding on seven, so it's wounding on threes. So that's three wounds at minus two. Five up. Oh, it's two wounds go through. So you just roll one D3. Just two injury rolls. Pick the highest. Oh. Flesh wounds have uh, Yeah, definitely flesh wounds. I was just thinking, do I re roll? Mm, well, I think you shouldn't. You're going to re roll? No, I think you should. Yeah. Oh. You did. Um, so that actually puts me down to three here. Yeah. So we'll use one. Um, so then you'll go next. I think I'm done. Oh, you're done. So it's me again. Um, with the zealot, does it have to be? Do you have to have charged? I think it is. Add it on the charge. Have a look. Because, or is it when you charge, when you charge or are charged? Uh, and one, two, attacks and strength in the background in which they charge. Okay, he didn't charge. He got charged. So, therefore, it's just three attacks, hit on twos, all hit. Um, strength is plus one, so strength six, plus is five. It's either five or four. So. Yeah, so threes. It's four. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Good, I like that. Just some terrible, terrible dice roll in there. Um, so that is the end of the phase. Yeah? Yep. So, oh, um, did I hit back with the Guardian over there? No, I think you were doing the charges first, so I don't think you have Yeah, so, and the other custodian Guardian to the Possessed. So the Guardian to the Possessed. Great to the No, this is into the Possessed. Yeah. I just done the Guardian to the Great Possessed. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. So then. I'll just watch five then. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was fine. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so, three hit, and then three to wound. Yeah, it'll be three to wound. Two wounds. Okay. Minus three. Minus three, so I think he's got five up in run all, still, hopefully. Andrew's got his fingers crossed. Uh, it's not listening to the scribe. But. Roll it, and we'll see if we need yeah, to have so, a look. Oh, yeah, Demonic's at the top. I can't read. Yep. Well, didn't matter anyway. So it doesn't matter. So it's 2d3 damage. How many wounds he got? Oh, uh, two, I think. Yeah, two wounds. So he's going to die anyway. Uh, so oh, yeah, come on. First one, see if he dies. And then the next one will be based on how many. It's two. So he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. And the next one will be how many rolls you get the injury rolls in it? Maybe. One. So it doesn't matter. So one um, injury roll. Oh, six. Stop rolling so well the injury rolls. He's dead. Finally got rid of some models. What do you find? Got rid of some levels. <laughs> it's half my kill team got. Oh yeah. I'll, I'll go look at them. Okay. Now. So in that case, I've got two guys on this um, objective where the great resist is. So I get that objective. You get the middle objective. I get the objective over there. So that is and my dead guys keep the streak. <laughs> so that is two to one on objective. So you're beating me four three. Five one two should be. You say oh you get two don't you? Sorry. I got two. Five three then. Five three. Yeah. Well, you only got one there, yeah. Yeah. You were on three though, weren't you? He's on three, but then I got one there. Yeah, so put you up four. Oh, is that it? Uh, we'll work out in a second. Yeah, work out in a second. Okay, initiative. Now confused. So Andrew gets the initiative again. Um, and you roll for the. Two? That's already gone. Is it? Yeah. Two is the six, isn't it? Oh, two. Oh, yeah, six, two is yeah. the six. You're does right. come off? No, I don't mean it does come off, but we'll 
I'll have a check that and th- with that as well. Um, so that's we'll come back and check about the points, and we'll check about the objective. Okay, so it was correct. We did have to remove that. Um, Andrew was correct. We did have to remove that marker because it was technically two, even though it says six, and it is that one you put back on and then take off. And as far as points, it was four three. So it's four three to chaos. No one's had to take a break test um, or any nerve tests because either you can't, we can't fail them, or there's not enough models that have shaken her out of action to then have to take a, um, a break test. Because yeah, might instantly die. Yeah. So if Andrew loses one more model or has a flesh wound on one more model, then he will have to start taking break tests. Not going to happen. Which hopefully will happen very soon. Okay, so we're going to go into the movement phase for the Crimson Swap. Okay, so the movement has been completed. The Berserker here is charging on the Terminator. The Chaos Terminator is charging on the Custody. The rest of all stayed in combat. This Custodian guy has just moved up. He stayed on the point though, within two inches of it, so he's going to claim that. And then this Terminator may have made a nine inch charge into that um, poor Marine over there. So hopefully he's going to die. And then Andrew will break. This is the plan. We want Andrew to run away. It's not my plan. Okay, so we are going with the Terminator against the Custodian Guard. Yep, he's got two attacks with a Chain Fist, which are minus one to hit. So he's hit on fours. Okay. So one hit. Yep. Shred this times two, which was up to eight. Oh dear. So threes. If that hits AP minus four. Damage okay. two. We could really do four up. And we don't get it. We are going to use a tactic to re-roll. And we don't get it. Damage two. Um, it's two, two energy rolls in. Yeah. So that is that was four. Was that out? Was that yeah, he's dead. You get out of action. He would have been plus one anyway, so he'd have been oh, dying yeah, on course. three. Um, so the custodian is dead. This is sad, sad times to lose a model. Um, okay, so. I'll go with the my combat specialist over here. So plus one attack, so hitting on twos. Full hit. And then wounding on threes. Oh my god. Just the two. Who's this against? Uh, the marine at the back. Right. So this is minus two. Minus two, so five up. <laughs> yeah, go marine. Oh I got some luck. my god. I thought I was guaranteed he was dead. And I rolled three twos to wound, and then he rolls two sixes. That is what you call unlucky. So, next up with the Berserker. Yep, so these are the chain axe attacks. Yep. Two attacks, hitting on threes. Uh, so, one hit. Yep. Uh, strength is five plus one for six. Six. How about strength? Oh, yeah, because he's yeah. strength five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so, wound. Um, if he, I might minus one, one for a thing. It goes through. Yep, it's one damage. Yep. And then his chainsword attack. Hit on threes. And then wounding on fours. Nope. And then again? Yep, again. So his chain axe. Uh, one hit. Wounding on threes. That is eight minus one. Saves it with a six. Yep, and the chainsword. Hit on threes. Misses. Okay, so do you want to go with the Great Possessed? Uh, well, obviously I want to go with it. <laughs> yeah, Great Possessed. Yeah. Uh, so that one I think was five attacks, but then I get the plus one. So five attacks with extra attack for his Expert Fighter. Yep. Yeah. Uh, these were hit on twos. Okay. Oh, uh, Death of the False Emperor on two of them. Yep. Yeah. Those are here. Oh dear, I think my Terminator is dead. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Uh, strength is five. Mm-hmm. Four to wound. Ooh, could have done better there. So three wounds. Minus. Minus two. Four ups. Made one. And D3 damage each. Chevron one at a time for this guy. So he's taken one wound, so he's got three wounds left. I better roll just in case. Okay. So two, two wounds, and then. So that means you get... And then just one roll, isn't it, for the... No. Oh, no, it's three damage, so... Yeah, because he won't left. Yeah, so, yeah, three... Three, three dice, pick the highest. Uh, four. 
Um, that is out of action, I think. Yeah, because he's yeah. obscured. Yep, so turn out is out of action. And then your Marine? Uh, I've got to check how many attacks they have. <laughs> I think it's only one for a normal Marine, isn't it? Uh, I would assume so, yeah. Yeah. He's attacked the Marine, basically. Yep, one attack. Yep. Then on threes. Misses. No. Okay, well. This is not good for the Custodes. We've lost two of models, which is literally half our army. But we don't have to take a break test. No. And because you have to lose over half, don't you? And I somehow managed to survive and not have to have a break test. Yeah. Which is most annoying. Quite well for me. Um, okay. So we'll go. Um, so there's a point each. Yeah, we'll go into the initiative. Five, so it's 5 4. Oh. Roll a 12. That's it, not much point in me trying that. So, um, studies have the initiative, and we need to roll uh, a 1. Oh, Which is the one. <laughs> Andrew just took down here. It's almost like it's. So we'll get rid of that. So there's percent. only one point left. Okay. So we'll be back in a second. Okay. So over here, the berserker has charged the custodian. The custodian did move back first, and he still made the charge, about a 10-inch charge. The greater possessed under here failed the charge, and the terminator moved up just in case there was any charge failures, so he could flame. The custodian, and then over here, these two stayed in combat. So we are going to go into uh, the combat phase because no one can be shot. Um, so we'll start off with the berserker who charged. And right, so two attacks with the chain axe in on threes. Perfect. Uh, Trent is five plus one. So win on threes. So nothing there. No wounds. The chain sword hit on threes. Misses. Right. And then again. Second set, chain axe hit on threes. Both hit. Wind on uh, threes. threes. One wound. So three up, one, yeah. three up save. Saves. Yep. Chain sword hit on threes. Misses. Mm. That's not good. Okay, so I'll go with the Terminator, the combat specialist. Hit on twos. Oh my god. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. If you make two five ups, I'm gonna cry. One. Do you want to try and re-roll that? Um, no. Okay. I don't want to bother. So it's D3 damage. Oh, flesh wound. For two. And then roll, pick the highest. Flesh wound. Oh. He's dead. Get better. Okay, so then we'll go in with the custodian guard over here. Uh, three attacks, hitting on twos, all hit, wounding on threes, all wound, minus three. That's six up. Is it not oh. five up? Because he's doing it. Berserker against Berserker? Oh, sorry, against yeah. Berserker. Yeah, I thought he was possessed for some reason. No. So three. Um, so it's just one D3 damage it will be, because he's only got one wound, yeah? Yeah, one wound. So it's three. Flesh wounds, pick the highest. Oh. He dies three times. <laughs> okay, that was a much better round for the custodies. Um, so that means I'm holding a point, the only point left, which then puts us level on points. So we are on five each. Andrew's reading some cheeky tactics by the looks of things. No, morale phase. I've got oh, the break rules. He's looking at morale phase. Um, so uh, we'll be back with the morale in a second. So we have realised actually <laughs> we're on turn five and we didn't actually roll for it to see if it goes on, but it's all good fun. Uh, we want it to go on. So it's actually uh, morale phase, so um, Andrew's got to roll to see if he is broken. Yep, so I've got leash at eight, I roll a nine or above, I break. Now I'm fine. He's fine. Um, and I've gone up one point, so it's five all on points. Now we have to roll to see if it goes on. Do you have to roll a nerve test for that guy? He's got a flesh wound. He hasn't got a flesh wound. Hasn't he? He's oh, just down to oh, one. Oh, he's down to one, okay. Yeah, he's down to one, he's down to two. So okay. I'm pretty... Uh, I've, I've only lost half. You have to lose over yeah. half, don't you? Yeah. So I don't need to take a break test. I don't need to take a nerve test. Because they're custodians, and quite rightly, they should not be nervous about anything. <laughs> okay, so... I am a little bit nervous, though, because it's great to possess, guys. A beast. Um... So, roll to see if it goes on. 
You can run. How many is one or two? One dice. Yeah. One. On a four. But I think three plus it stops. Um, I'm pretty sure. Because. Oh, I better stop because the only chance I've got of winning or drawing. If the battle does not end, otherwise on the battle on turn four, three plus it goes on, and then so we're on battle around five on a d6, yeah, four plus. So it does stop. Oh, so is that a draw then? That is a draw. It says about we both had the same amount of points, didn't we? Yeah, so is it what was that? Um so it's a tie. Oh, nice. As as far as I uh, am aware, we we draw. Um so it says if the players are tied for the most victory points, whichever of those players have the lower forces, the winner, which you didn't. If there's still a tie for most victory points, the tied players draw. So it was a draw. What's the lower force mean there? Uh, lower of points, value. Right. So... Well, what do you have? 200. Because I had 198. Did you? Yes, I did. Okay, yeah. so that means <laughs> Chaos won. I, I win by technicality. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> Chaos win with their two point um, under mm. on the uh, points. So... The Crimson sort of win. It was a really, really good game, actually. Um, we'll come and talk about it in the post-game. Okay, so post-game chat. Um, it was really, really good. Uh, it's a close game. I mean, come right down to five points apiece. And obviously, Andrew won because he did have a lower points. Um, yeah, so I think the moral of the story is to always have like yeah, one just, point. Just, just <laughs> under. Just make sure you know what your opponent's taking. Just, just take under. Yeah, then try to draw. Yeah. But it was uh, really, really good. Um, the Terminators, I really, really like the Terminators. I actually forgot to fire their grenade launchers, but I only actually fired them tw- twice, once each or twice each. Um, but yeah, once the Custodians got in combat, they were pretty brutal. They were sort of, apart from when I whiffed badly on like the fifth turn, um, they were pretty brutal. They were taken out pretty much a model a turn. Um, and obviously the Custodians are a little bit more durable, Scary. Which is nice. Yeah. But the possessed guy, the great possessed, was really, really good. Yeah, it does cost 80 points. That's what I said that. 80 yeah. points. Yeah, but then my Terminators cost 67. Yeah, but uh, who cares about them? <laughs> um, although you do have one more wound, and yeah, they're probably both about as brutal as each other in combat. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so. Uh, it was really good. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let us know if there's any mistakes um, that we haven't picked up on ourselves because we always <laughs> we always want to try and correct that and make sure um, we get better and we want to make sure that we get in the rules correct. Um, obviously, it's very hard sometimes when you're filming to remember everything. We want to do it as closely as we can, so do pull us up on anything. And also, you know, might be something that we didn't even realise. It might be an FAQ we didn't know about. So, um, yeah, let us know. Um, please like and subscribe and we will be doing more Kill Team Apocalypse and we'll have a 40k battle reports uh, for you to watch we'll see you in the next one bye bye